Hello family, this is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Today I want to do part number two to the um, Queen, Queen Califia uh, videos. This is part number two. I did part one and I did an article. Well, I didn't do an article. It's an article I found about the Queen of California and the California Indians. And I wanted to do a continuation. And um, yeah. So um, I wanted to, to go further into Queen Cal uh, Calivia. It's Queen Calivia. I, <laughs> I get a little tongue tied. But it's Queen Calivia. And um, I saw when I did the earlier video, I wanted to correct myself. Um, I did do a Google search on the Queen. I was looking under Queen California and the California Indians. I didn't see as much information about the Queen, but when I started looking under Queen, um, let's see, Queen Calivia. And also Queen California, you know, I saw more, you know, I was able to pull up a little bit more. I looked on a Google search Queen Califia. I know it says California, but it's actually uh, Queen Califia. You get more information because I was looking and saw the Google images right here of the beautiful queen. It's a little bit more. It's not a ton of research um, like in other historic um know icons or historic uh, heroes or heroines as they are you know us from other backgrounds especially from the Caucasian um, ancestry you know you you see more Caucasians than you do of uh, people of color you know that's by design but when you use uh, when I pull it up you can see you see a little bit more on the uh, Queen Califia and I was really excited to see that. But I wanted to talk about this particular person that I found. She did some research and wrote a book. I'm gonna go to her page right now. Here it is. Um, this particular author wrote a wonderful book about Queen Calivia. And I gave a little bit of background information about Ka Queen Calivia. In, a, in part number one, you want to check that out. But in part two, I want to talk about how uh, they have whitewashed her, graywashed her, in other words. I use the word gray instead of white. But um, the graywash, this particular heroine, a hero, you know, this legend out of history and sort of pretty much written her out and you can see it in the seals i mentioned i started touching on this in an earlier video um but i want to elaborate more how they use the seals and this is the gray wash version called eureka when in actuality queen calivia that's her real name and it was established much sooner. They, you know, the Great Washing pretty much took place during the late 17, early 1800s. You know, on the East Coast it was like the late 1700s, and then they started going further and further west. During the 1800s, you know, that's when they started changing the images of a lot of the indigenous people to fit their narrative. And so you see, it says here the Great Seal of this state. Of California, they have a gray wash version of the Queen, and they put Eureka on there to make it look like or seem or give this a false narrative that the Queen came from Europe. When in actuality, she was an indigenous Aboriginal here with copper colored skin, just like me, uh, just like the um, the Aboriginals here, um, and she looked more like this. And this is more of an accurate depiction of what the queen actually looked like. And it says the great seal of the state of California, Queen Calivia, established in 1510. And they put a further date because she put the date in which the Caucasians started coming into 
to in Americas, and for the first time, they actually seen um, our people, you know, and seen this land. They stepped foot until like the late 14th, 15th century, so they didn't know about us. We were already here. We are ancient people, and this is how it's supposed to be depicted. And this lady who's doing the article, um, this book, you know, this is her website. She is fighting for that. And I wanted to go ahead and play her video for you all so you can hear what she's doing because I think she's doing great things. And you know, we should all be supporting her. I think this video was recorded back in uh, 2017. She was pretty much talking about the book and also educating the public of the fact that Queen Calypia was an American Aboriginal. She was indigenous here and that the state still is inaccurate, it's a false narrative and it needs to be changed and they need to put an actual, um, the right image of how she look on all the state seals in order to be more accurate. And these are some of the things we all need to be doing and in order to have a correct image of who we are in history, because I think that's a lot of the reason why a lot of our ancestral um, uh, historic artifacts, um, the stories and everything, and the actual historic factual information are there has um, been changed so to the point where we lose a sight as to what actually took place and lose sight as to having an identity of who we are. And that's why we have to fight to get bring it back to get it back but let's play this video so you can hear what she has to say um let's i'm gonna turn it on hopefully it works this time <laughs> i'm gonna hit the play button and i think this is cute she got a little outfit queen calivia i think that's really neat how she um designed an outfit to um to for the cause but let's hit play Well, there you go. Um, I'm going to turn it up some so y'all can hear. Okay, you guys. Now, this is her, the author of this um, book. I'm going to put a link to her website. I think this is awesome what she's doing. You know, she's going to law school and everything, and she's trying to fight to bring a change as to having a better, accurate, accurate depiction of who we are as indigenous people here in the United States. And, and she was right. That symbol, the um, symbol that she was showing, uh, depicting the gray version of the queen is 
very racist. And I got to look at it very closely. She did say it has a Confederate remnant to it, and it probably does. I wouldn't be surprised um, because if I'm not mistaken, it was a, a, one of the Southern politicians that had that changed in the first place. And in order to change the narrative, when they fought the wars against the Indians and won, that's when they went upon themselves to just go around and change history and change everything to fit their narrative, as opposed to sticking to factual artifacts and uh, dealing with, um, you know, ancient artifacts and sticking to scientific evidence as opposed to sticking with an opinion of someone or you know a story or a over exaggerated um, fictional tale that they created in order to erase the original people who actually were here first and so i think it's great what she's doing and um this is her website it says cali cali is me which is true it is us and a lot of people don't realize that california has rich history that includes us as indigenous people and we should actually be looking into this as well but i just wanted to share this particular video and this particular website and i just wanted to show some of the images that you know, of the queen. I'm gonna make it bigger. Let me move myself out the way so you can see. See, you do a search on the, uh, her name, we're starting to see that more of us are putting pictures and stories about this queen. And the more we do it, the more people can learn about who she is, who this woman is, and all the great things she's done, and oftentimes overlooked throughout the history books. And I love this statue. <laughs> this is one I love with the twist. Now it's beautiful a depiction of the Asher Queen and how she looked. And we should be learning about this. And these are some of the things that our children, and this is the K wall that I show on your mat, you know. But I'm gonna probably do another part to this video because I think this is excellent history that we should definitely be talking about, discussing, and sharing with our children and inspire our kids to do great things. Um, they hear about our ancestors actually being kings and queens over the United States, you know, uh, different areas within the United States. It, it brings enlightenment, like I said, empowerment. And I think that is what's starting to resonate among us. And I think learning this history is very key. And um, yeah, I'm going to share this and some more in part three. And I would love to hear what you all think. Uh, what can we do to bring more enlightenment about our history and more research? I think research is very important in what we can do and how we can get this message out to our young people and try to incorporate it in schools. I know schools is difficult because grades are over the school system. That's why it's like um, Phil, the advice show, um, the African diaspora, I think that's his channel. Uh, but Phil, um, some of y'all know who he is. And also um, it, many YouTubers, not just him, that talks about um, we have in our own schools for our people, kids to go through, even after school programs or, or summer camps would be great ideas in order to expose our children to more of this, you know, because I don't think they get a chance to see any of this in the classroom. They don't. Everything's been graywashed and focused on Caucasians and it focused on colonization the last 400 years, but there's so much more to history that's been overlooked and we don't ever hear about. But please like this video, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And till next time, family, peace, love and peace. Bye-bye.